Hey there, tech savvy friends. Are you excited about the new features of the new notepad for Windows 11, but disappointed that it's not available on Windows 10? Well, fear not, because I have some exciting news to share with you today. I'm here to show you how to install Notepad on Windows 10 and enjoy all its amazing features flawlessly. So stick around, because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. So, first things first, let's talk about why you'd want to do this. Windows 11 has some really cool apps that are not available on Windows 10 yet. If you're someone who wants to check them out or use them for work, this tutorial is for you. Now, let me show how you can get them installed. There are two types of files one is replacer and another side install. Replacer as the name suggests is the same name as original package and requires the original app to be uninstalled. Side install on the other hand is renamed and can be installed alongside the original app. Before we get started we need to install the certificate so that the files can be authenticated, so go to the video up here or down in the description below to install the certificate required. For replacer versions, simply right-click on the Start button and select Settings. From there, search for Optional Features and find Notepad. Click Uninstall and wait for it to finish. Then, navigate to the Replacer folder and open the Notepad.6 package for Windows Notepad. Click Install and wait for it to finish. That's it, you're done. For side install versions, just navigate to the side install folder and open the Notepad.6 package for Windows Notepad. Click Install and wait for it to finish. Voila, you're all set. So, there you have it. With my tutorial, you can easily install Windows 11 Notepad on your Windows 10 device. This is a great way to explore new apps and features that are not available on Windows 10 yet. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.